Hello, welcome. Thank you for joining me again. Hey, remember that camera I just put in in the last video? How do you find that camera? How, how do you ever get that? I mean, we have a couple different cameras we put in here. What you do is you go to a floor plan, click on that camera, and I think we did the 3D uh, camera view number two. And we can rename that. It's a requirement typically. You know, if you're going to put a camera in there, it's better to have rather than some random number in there to put in what the camera is actually looking at. So we're going to call this first floor stairs. It doesn't have to be capitalized because none of these are going to go into a plan, but it's descriptive enough that when we click in that camera, we can see what we're looking at. So if you go to the first floor, right click in that camera, we can tell it to show the camera and it kind of gives it those options again. So if we want to get a camera, move it out here, for instance, we can do that. Yeah. Right, let's go back to our first floor stairs and take a look at that. A couple things you might want to note here. Remember the doorway openings we put in? One was an elliptical opening, which I didn't show you a video of, and the other one was a cased opening. And kind of give you an idea of what that looks like. This is that uh, five foot uh, cased opening. Looking through the ar ar arched opening and the front door over here, and then our stairs beyond that. Kind of cool. Little side show there. Okay, back to first floor. Let's take our stairs and uh, get rid of that. Make sure it's all highlighted in blue. Delete that. We're going to put in a linear stairs. So go to the home tab, go to the stair button, and again you want to do run because a run will allow you to draw not just the boundary elements of the stair and the stringer and the treads and stuff like that, which is very laborious. And if you have a very tight area or if you have some very tight requirements, you want to manage the building of your stairs a little bit better, that's, that's the option to go to. But we're going to go to run right now and we're going to go ahead and put that together. So, we're going to start our stairs, uh, let's think about this now. If we start our stairs over here, and go up the stairs, put a landing up here, and then up at the second floor on the right-hand side, I think that'll work out okay. So, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go up here for a certain distance. And remember the, the wording down here, it says 9 risers created, 12 remaining. That's probably okay. I'm going to stop it right here, and go over here, and look at my polar tracking. It's going to pick up probably in the middle over here and put a landing between that area and this area I'm going to begin my rectangle over here which is going to define where the boundary of the stairs are going to be and then go all the way to the end so now it says 21 risers created zero remaining and I'm going to click and if everything looks okay that's that's pretty good by me and what I want to do before I get too far into this is just to make sure my width is three foot six inches Typically, a three-foot stair is about the minimum we want in a house, and the bigger the house or the bigger the room, you probably want bigger stairs too, uh, maybe four feet or five feet or six feet even. So I'm going to make mine three feet six. It is kind of a skinny house, but I wanted to make it look a little bigger than it would normally. So let's go to the green check mark, and there's my stairs. So let's go back to the camera view, the first floor stairs, and take a look at that. Kind of far away. Again, let's go back to our first floor. Right click on the, the camera down there, have it show the camera. Let's move that back over here a little bit and take a look at it one more time. And yeah, kind of digging into the wall a little bit, not very attractive. So we're going to go ahead and fix that. But I'm going to save that for the next film.